Solve the problem using a system of equations. A chemist needs 12 liters of a 40% alcohol solution. She must mix a 20% solution and a 50% solution. How many liters of each will be required to obtain what she needs? We've completed step one. We've read the problem carefully. In step two, we'll define our variables. Let x represent the number of liters of 20% solution and let y equal the number of liters of 50% solution. In order to write a system of equations here to solve for x and y, I'm going to need to organize my information in a table first. So let's complete this table. We've defined um, x and y as our amount of liters of solution. So let's put those values in. x is the amount of 20% solution. So let's put its corresponding percentage value written in decimal form. Y is the amount of 50% solution. Now to complete th this last column, which is liters of pure alcohol, this first container is a 20% alcohol solution, and we find the amount of pure alcohol by taking 20% of X, or 20% times X. So let's write that amount then as 0.20 times X. For our second container, the 50% solution, the amount of pure alcohol there in liters is 50% of Y, or 0 0.50 times Y. Now we're told that in the end, we want a mixture that is a 40% solution. That makes sense because this is a number between 20 and 50. We want the amount of this mixture to be 12 liters. Now let's also complete this last value. If there are 12 liters of a 40% solution, then the amount of pure alcohol there is 40% of 12. That's 0 0.40 times 12 or 4.8. Now we're ready to write our system of equations as step three. I'm going to start right here. The sum of these two amounts, x plus y, is equal to 12. Also, the sum of the amounts of pure alcohol in each of our containers should equal the amount of pure alcohol in the mixture. And so 0.20x plus 0.50y is equal to 4.8. Let's go ahead and clean this equation up a little bit. Multiply everything there through by 10 to eliminate the decimal. So this becomes 2x plus 5y is equal to 48. Now let's identify our equations as number one and this last one here as equation number two. Now in step four, let's solve this system. I'm going to use the elimination method. I'm going to eliminate the variable x. I'm going to do that by cleaning up equation one and multiplying it through by negative two. So equation one becomes negative 2x minus 2y is equal to negative 24. Again, that was uh, negative 2 times equation number 1. Just rewrite equation number 2 underneath it. Next, let's add these equations together. The x variable eliminates. We get a 3y is equal to 24, or y is equal to 8. That's an amount in liters, so y is 8 liters. That's the amount of the 50% solution. Let's also solve for x. I'm going to do that in equation 1, which reads x plus y is equal to 12. Substituting 8 in for y. x plus 8 is 12, or x is equal to 4. Let's clearly state our answer now. We know that we're going to need four liters of the 20% uh, solution and eight liters of the 50% solution. As a last step, we might just check these values very clearly. In equation one, uh, that indicates that the sum of our liter amounts is 12, and we see that that's going to work. Four plus eight does indeed give us 12. In equation two, 
that's written as 0.20x plus 0.50y is equal to 4.8. My original equation 2, that's the safest bet. Let's substitute x and y. So is 0 0.20 times x 4 plus 0 0.50 times y, that's 8, indeed equal to 4.8. Yeah, it sure is. Here we get a 0.8 plus half of 8 is 4. And yeah, that does give us a true statement. So we've checked our solutions. We feel very comfortable then with our answer that there are 4 liters of the 20% solution and 8 liters of the 50% solution.